word that there there you are hey boys and girls catch here i am so excited to see you this morning I, i've got my binoculars uh, do you know what these are these help me see things easier i can see further away i can see closer on things and and so i've got these today because well i'm playing a fun little game i'm playing i spy Do you know what I Spy is? Well, I Spy is a fun little game where you're giving clues and you have to figure out what somebody's talking about. Do you guys want to play the game with me today? Yeah, let's play. This will be fun. Okay, so I have my binoculars to play I Spy. There you are. This is what I want you to do. Take your hands and put them in circles and then put them right in front of your eyes. And there you can play I Spy. Get ready, boys and girls. Okay, great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a picture and I wanna see if you can find what I'm talking about. Let's play I Spy. So how many of you have a messy bedroom? I know mine's normally messy. Yep, yep. Many of you have messy bedrooms. You know how that happens. So let's look at this picture. So here's my clue so we can play I Spy. Do any of you see something that you put on your feet and it's red and white? Can you find it? Hmm? How are you doing? Okay. If you picked the sock, you got it. That was fun playing I Spy. How about we do another one? Let's go, let's go outside on this next one. Let's have some fun playing outside. Now, here we go. Here is your picture. There's a lot going on here. Kids are having fun. They're running around and they're playing. So here's this clue for I Spy. This is an item that is long and it has two handles on it, and you use it to jump over. Can you find it? Do you see where it's at? All right, if you chose the jump rope, you're exactly right. That's awesome. Hey, let's do one more. This is way too fun. So let's go back inside. All right, now we're in a messy kitchen. Okay, here's your clue for this I spy. This item is yummy, yummy good, but somebody has dropped it and it's upside down and it's pink. And we really, really like to eat this for dessert. Okay, how many of you picked the ice cream cone? All right, nice job, boys and girls, fantastic. That was a fun game of I Spy. Today in our lesson, we're going to hear from Ollie and his friends, and they're going to talk to us about Jesus. We're going to see the things that he has done. And when we see him in our story, when we first start out, we're going to see him as a little baby, even smaller than you are. And we're going to see him grow up and do amazing things. Boys and girls, in our story today, we're going to see how we can believe in Jesus. It is time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. I spy with my little eye. Stormy's bone! You found it! Good job, Stormy Jane. Oh, hi friends! I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. We were just playing I Spy, but I know you came here for a story. Do you think we could keep playing I Spy while we tell the story? You do? Great! Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins a long time ago. 
when God sent an angel to a woman named Mary. Does anyone see an angel? Make some binoculars like this and look with me. I spy with my little eye an angel. The angel had a very special message for Mary. She was going to have a baby boy. The baby's name would be Jesus and he would be God's son. Jesus is very special because Jesus is God's son. Mary and Joseph traveled to a city called Bethlehem. Do you see a city? Look with me, ready? I spy with my little eye a city called Bethlehem. When Mary and Joseph got to Bethlehem, they had to stay in a stable where animals live. Mary and Joseph rested and waited for baby Jesus to be born. Then it happened. Jesus was born. Let's look for baby Jesus. Ready? I spy with my little eye, Jesus. Mary wrapped baby Jesus and laid him in a manger. Now Jesus didn't just stay a baby. He grew up and did amazing things only he can do. Jesus told a thunderstorm to stop and it stopped. Jesus made sick people all better. Jesus even fed over 5,000 people with just a few pieces of bread and fish. Jesus did so many amazing things. The people who saw Jesus do these amazing things wrote them down. And now we can read the stories in the Bible. These stories teach us that Jesus is real and can do amazing things. Now we all can believe in Jesus. <laughs> oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. Wow, what a great story. We can believe in Jesus, and we can believe all the amazing things he has done. Boys and girls, I really enjoyed playing I Spy with you today. I look forward to seeing you again next week. See you later. God bless.